Hey, today's practice is meditative yin yoga and you will need a bolster for this practice. If you don't have a bolster, you can use thick blanket instead. And before we start, I want to remind you to read the description of this video where you can find information on my other channels, uh, my blog, or if you want to join my newsletter, you will find how to do that on the description. And then we are ready to start. So find yourself lying down on your mat in Savasana kind of position and let everything in you just relax. Start breathing in through your nose and out through your nose. You can close your eyes and with each one of your breaths let this day melt away from your body. Let go of today and everything that has happened before this practice. Let your muscles relax. Your legs, your upper body, your arms and also your facial muscles. Let everything kind of like slowly melt. Continue on breathing deeply and fully. Trying to focus on the movement of your body caused by your breaths. And just continue on breathing here. Relaxing your body and mind. Then you can start to wake yourself up and bend your knees, place your feet on the upper edges of your mat, uh, sorry, side edges of your mat and uh, your arms can lie on your side and then start dropping your legs from side to side. It can be little movement or a little bit bigger movement, just feel how your spine feels today. And next time when you are dropping your legs on your left side, you can leave them there. If you need support somewhere in your legs, you can use your bolster. Then lift your arms on your shoulder level. Turn your face away from your feet. And as you breathe here for your the first breaths that you are taking, just observe your body, how it feels, how the twist feel on your spine or other areas in your body. Continue on breathing through your nose. 
Let your muscles relax. Let the earth support you so you don't have to carry yourself. You don't have to have your muscles activated while you are lying here. You can just be. You can just breathe. And you can just let go this day and everything that you are ready to let go of. You can slowly lift your legs and then bring your arms on the side of your body and then you can lift your right leg on top of your knee or below your knee, depends on how you look it. So on your quad and from there turn your legs again to your left and let your right foot be on the floor. You can maybe lift that if this is too intense. So your right knee is pointing toward the ceiling. Again, lift your arms on your shoulder level. Turn your face away from your feet. And continue on breathing and observing how your body feels as your pose changed. You are still doing a spinal twist but it's different so how does it feel find your breath let it guide you further let it help you open your body and again let your muscles relax Allow yourself to be carried. Let the earth support you. You can slowly release and then again you can place your feet on the other edge of your mat and then again maybe from there drop your knees from side to side feel how it feels you have opened and twist your spine already so it might feel a little bit different and then let your feet drop to your right and again lift your arms on your shoulder level make sure that your shoulder blades are firmly on your mat and turn your face on the opposite directions from your feet breathing in fully and deeply through your nose out through your nose again observing being curious how your body feels on this side. Letting go of all thoughts. Letting your breath guide you 
to open you, to relax your body and your mind. Then you can lift your legs back up and then lift your left leg on your right quad. So your ankle is on your right quad and then drop your legs to your right. Your left foot on, is on your mat or on the floor, knee pointing towards the ceiling, shoulder blades firmly on your mat, arms on your shoulder level. And again, observing how your body feels, how this twist feel on the second side. Again, being curious without judging, without analyzing, just observing, being and relaxing. Remembering that if there is any thoughts coming into your mind, you don't have to follow those thoughts, you just can acknowledge them and let them go. You don't need to compare yourself if this is a familiar pose to you, you don't need to compare how this has felt at some point before. Just observe how it feels now. Stry trying to focus on this moment. You can then slowly release. You can maybe stretch yourself really long. And maybe hug your knees and rock yourself from side to side. And from there, lift yourself up and come lie on your belly. And place your uh, elbows a little bit forward from your shoulders. Bring your face resting on your palms. We are doing this little bit more gentle version of Sphinx today. So your both legs are straight. Your neck is long. And you are just relaxing here. It's kind of like you are on the beach and you are reading a book and you are just holding your head. Remember to breathe fully and deeply.
and we are staying here for a little while longer. Breathe a few more breaths here. Trying to relax your body, even though it's a little bit more active pose. And then you can slowly rela release yourself and come to your all fours. So make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. And with your inhalation start lifting up your gaze. And with your exhalation round your back and bring your chin to chest. Inhale, lift up your gaze, curve your upper back. And exhale, round your upper back. One more, lift up your gaze. Curve your upper back and exhale, round your back, bring your chin to chest. And then for the next pose, you will need your bolster. So bring it on the top of your mat and sit on your right side. So your right quad is pointing toward your bolster. Both knees are bended. You can choose how you are placing your feet is your right uh, foot touching your left or are there a little bit more gap is there a little bit more gap in between them and then bring your hands on the side of your bolster and bring your upper body to rest on your bolster you can also choose is it your left or right chin uh, sorry cheek on your bolster Feel how it feels and start following your breath, the wavy kind of movement of your breath. Observing how your body feels as you inhale, observing how it feels as you exhale, letting go of any muscle in the um, muscle tension. Enabling your body to kind of sink in onto your mat. We are staying here for a little while longer. Then you can start to lift yourself up and turn to the other side. On your left side, 
having your legs bended and then place your palms on the side of the bolster and then start coming down lying down on your bolster again feeling which cheek you want to place on your bolster finding your breath observing this side of your body also observing how it feels to turn inward with this pose as we are coming to forward fold you are maybe able to come within a little bit more with this pose you are maybe able to relax more with this pose it may feel more safe you may be able to relax more here. Then you can slowly lift yourself up and come up to seated position and open your feet wide apart. You can have your bolster on top of your mat as it were. And then we are continuing on to come to forward fold over the bolster. So have your toes pointing toward the ceiling and then you can have your spine straight along and come onto your forward fold, resting your head on your bolster. And as you are here in your forward fold, then you can slowly, mindfully, trying to ease the muscle tension in your thighs. Kind of giving in to this pose so you don't need to hold yourself you don't need to carry yourself again enabling you to turn inward with this forward world letting anything and everything outside of you to melt away creating this own bubble that you are in bubble of present moment Then you can start to lift yourself up. You can either turn 
your back onto your bolster or place your bolster behind your back and we are coming to sleeping butterfly next so bend your knees and place your back onto your bolster make sure that your back is comfortable your neck is comfortable you can start to open your knees to your side and to the side and placing the soles of your feet together and then lifting your arms on your shoulder level still making sure that your shoulders are relaxed sleeping butterfly is an excellent pose to discover your breath notice the movement of your breaths and even though it's opening your body, it's at the same time relaxing your, your body. So again, listening to your breath, breathing in deeply, letting your belly rise, letting your breath lift all the way to your chest and then start your exhalation, letting your chest drop and eventually letting your belly drop towards your spine. We have few more breaths here. You can slowly release And you can move the bolster away from your mat and then come lie on your back and you can come lie on your uh, right on the right side of your mat we are coming into banana next so on your right side you can start to move your feet to your left and cross your ankles uh, choose which way you want to cross them and then also move your upper body to your left Rise your hands above your head and then relax yourself and you can relax your body with your breath bit by bit from your ankles lifting up on the right side of your body all the way to the crown of your head using your breath. We have few more breaths here.
then you can start to release yourself straighten yourself maybe stretch yourself and then start moving to the left side of your mat as we are preparing ourselves to the second side so on the, on your left side you can start to move your feet to your right crossing your ankles and then also move your upper body to your right lifting your arms above your head finding comfortable position here and again bit by bit start to relax your body the left side of your body starting from your foot and rising up from there all the way to the crown of your head We have a few more breaths here. And then you can start to release yourself and prepare to your Savasana today. So lie on your back, drop your feet outward a little, letting your hip area to relax. Let your arms rest on the side of your body, palms up and down. Surrender yourself to gravity, close down the blinds of your eyes. Feel the intimate harmony and connection of your precious body to the floor. Each point of contact is a chance to feel more supported. And each breath a chance for the earth to move more deeply into your being.
And we are ending this practice today with a meta blessing which goes like this. May you be safe. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you live a life of ease. You can start to bring a little bit of movement into your body, stretching yourself. Then lifting yourself up to seated position, keeping your spine straight and long. Feeling gratitude toward the practice that you just did. And I want to thank you for sharing this moment with me today. Lift your palms onto your heart center. Lift your thumbs in between your brows and make a little bow to say thank you. The light within me honors the light within you. Namaste. And we see each other again next time. And remember, if you haven't already, to comment, like and subscribe to my channel. Bye now.